Hello, gorgeous people. How are we this Sunday afternoon? I am doing fantastic. I just got a little bored because everybody's gone and, well, besides my daughter, she's still in bed. And it's like noon or so. She's a night owl. But anyways, I got bored so I figured I'd turn on the camera and do a little soap loaf. Oh, matter of fact, I forgot to do something. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Forgot to wash my mold. <laughs> I've been like sitting there like, oh my gosh. Goofball. You can't put soap in nothing. Not even happen to pause you guys and hurry up and trying to wash my mold. And hoping that my soap didn't get thick. Alright, let's put our kale and clay in our oatmeal. I always add it to my oils. It's daylight out, so I don't have to be quiet. <laughs> Seems like most of the time when I soap, it's at night when everybody's in bed. I did water discount this a little bit, so I don't know if I want to use... Uh, I don't think I'm going to use any titanium dioxide this time. I'm going to do a little experiment. My soaps have been coming out really, really extremely soft. And I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. I've been adding this and adding that and taking this out and taking that out. So, I want to do just a recipe that just is a flat out recipe. I don't want to add nothing besides the kale and clay and the oatmeal, of course. Um, I know that's not what's doing it. Um, but I know, I know it's not my temperatures either because I temp, I temp uh, soap at the same temperatures every time. And it's only been a loaf here or there. So I don't know if it's one of my oils is acting funny or what's, what's the deal. So I'm just going to, and I only discounted by like an ounce. So I just want to, I'm just going to experiment with my recipes here. I mean, nothing wrong with my bars of soap being soft. I just, I know they'll take a little bit longer to cure and... My normal cure time is four weeks, which, you know, I don't always sell my soap at four weeks, so I know I get more cure time than that. I just know that's when I start packing them and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Adding the lye water, which I have silk in. I did not add any salt. Again, I'm trying to experiment on, which I know the salt will make my bar of soap uh, harder. So, I just want to see what's going on here. So, I'm not going to add or take it. You know what I'm saying. All right. I use the same oils as every, for every recipe. So, I know that's not it. But it could be one of my oils acting funny because I added a little bit more than normal or a little bit less or something. I don't know. Soap is so funny sometimes. <laughs> It has a mind of its own, for sure. Today we're going to do fresh strawberries. Let's see, from Indigo. This was only a dollar fifty. Well, dollar forty-nine, I estimate. Or I round up to the nearest half, <laughs> I guess you could say. OMG, oh god, I just got a whiff of it, and oh my lord, it smells so good. Ugh. Makes me want some strawberry shortcake, you guys. Oh heavens. I might have to order some more of that. The only thing is, is with Indigo's little sales, you're only allowed to order, um, is that Indigo? No, that was Nature's Garden. Hmm. So that wasn't a dollar fifty. I lied. I don't know what I was thinking. It was Nature's Garden bottle, not a Indigo bottle. That was silly, guys. Nature's Garden bottle. So that was probably two something. All right, let's get this out of here and into our colors. We're going to be doing a berry, 
but of course strawberry and a green because you know you got green leaves and strawberries I just thought it was the right colors obviously all right you guys know normally I don't just throw powders I always mix them with a little bit of oil but again I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my soaps and why they are staying extremely soft um, some are soft some aren't so and I can't remember I don't every time put down exactly everything that I do with each bar of soap so I don't know if it's the colorant and the extra oils I mean I don't think it is because it hasn't done that ever before but again I don't know that's why I'm just I don't know they just look I wish I had a bar down here and I, I might have to pause the camera and go get a bar and show you guys what I'm talking about um, they're extremely light like and I do add cream and coconut milk to some of my bars and some of the bars I have I well I do have I do write that down on my recipe because I keep track of every single recipe every single bar of soap and what I put in it of course but I don't put everything in it you know I don't add that I put silk but most of the time I put silk in every single bar I put I use salt for almost every single one so yeah all right let's get this one buzzed up a little bit darker you guys looks like I still got some on the bottom though and that is why I don't like to do it this way <laughs> so it is a pretty green though and this is the apple green from Misty's Magic Shop on Facebook I am almost out so I need to go get some more Matter of fact, I didn't put that much in here, and since I'm almost out, I'm about to just use the rest of this. There ain't no point in saving this. I probably wouldn't have done another one, so. Let me just move my blender. it on the side there that's why I don't like to do that Ugh. let's rip this open because I got some stuck on the side here and you know me I hate to waste look how pretty that is though that is a pretty green Okay, I think we've got all oh, we're going to get out of that. And we got a little glitter show today. Always a glitter show with me. I'm going to wipe off my gloves so I'm not making my mixer a mess. Looks like I've already made a mess. Yeah, my son loves um, strawberry, so the scent, which who don't? That's the that's the ticket, Christina. Just splash it everywhere. And it's still, gosh dang it! Sorry guys, I'm trying to get it off my blender. Sorry for the arm view, the hairy arm. All right, I got to clean up my mess. I can't. See some people that don't notice they got a mess, especially on the back side, especially when they're doing their molds, and they'll push their mold into their mess, and then it scrapes it back, and then I'm like, ah, get that! <laughs> okay, that's all we're going to do with that. Let's rinse this off. Rinse it off. Just a little bit, not too much. 
And I am not the kind of soaper that uses a glass of water on the counter because I'm sorry. I've seen too many videos where ladies have accidentally spilt their whole glass of yucky mixins. I guess you want to call it a mix mixings. <laughs> Where they take their blender and mix it, you know, clean it off and go to the next color. I can't do it. I'm too scared. I cannot stand a sepi, so messy soaper. Okay, this is my berry. This is from TKB. The liquid. Berry red. <laughs> Let me get my stupid rag. Oops. Somehow I got green on the bottom of this. And it's killing me. And we got berry all the way up here. Okay, I don't know. I think I want a little bit more. Mixing up very well. I could have sworn this mixed up way better than this. You see that on the blender there? Yes, my blender's broke. If you haven't seen some of my other videos, it fell off my dryer. Somebody had a washer in spin cycle mode, and it was sitting on top of my dryer. My dryer and washer, of course, touch each other. I don't understand why that's not mixing up. That is not cool. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's just set this over here. So I don't know if I'm done with that yet. Alrighty. We should do a funnel pour or something, huh? Better do something because my greens over there probably getting thick as crap now. Oh, yeah. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it? All right, let me get my funnel. Should be right here. Paper towel. Cause this thing don't like to slide on the countertop. All right, let's see. Hopefully, you guys can see me. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Move this. And there we go. All right. Let's get the pour in this bad boy. We'll do. Um, we'll do over here so you guys can see. I call this the funnel pour. I don't know what others call it. I might even mix it up a little bit. I don't know. Mix it up as in taking my screw and mixing it, making a little uh, pretty something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. It'll come as it goes. Or it'll go as it comes. Whatever. I know this one's getting like really thick. So I'm going to try to. Pour it in both corners. Hopefully you guys can see me.
And that just dragged, didn't it? Oh well. No method to my mayhem, as I always say. Let's set this down a second so I can bang this. And I'm not even going to use the funnel no more. I'm just going to pour this. The screen's getting a little too thick on me here. So, pour in this corner. Maybe I'll do the four corner pour. <laughs> We'll just pour in corner corner we please. In any corner we please. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, I might even take my screw to this. Who knows? I know I want to save some for the top. Make a pretty top. Um, let's see. Some in this corner. Matter of fact, I might even just get my little homemade, um, whatchamacallit. Yep, because you guys know what a whatchamacallit is, right? <laughs> um, my own homemade swirling device. There we go. Alright, let me grab it real quick. I just had it last night and I don't know whatever I did with it all right yes I have a jacked up homemade out of a hanger and I just use my husband's black tape it works just fine guys so all right enough mix in we don't want to mud it Gotta rinse this off immediately so it don't. Sorry for bumping you. I refuse to buy anything that I can make at home. It's just nonsense. It's a waste of money. This works just fine. bad boy that stuff gets hot all right I want to kind of scrape this I don't want to waste this see how much soap is on there all right gotta rinse out that funnel too it'll be hard to wash okay where's my screamer Hold you guys so you're not sitting here with okay I found it it was still laying over here from last night when I used it <laughs> what an idiot right okay looks like our green is pretty thick actually 
actually, I should have done that. What you call it? Where you pour a pink in one area and pour the green in the other. Not Taiwan, but something else. I can't remember. We'll get it. One little drop, that's all I spilt. And another little drop. I am going to go up and grab one of my soaps here in a minute. They are in my curing room. And show you what I mean. I might grab a good one and... Well, I wouldn't say a good one because the other ones are not bad. They're just... Now let's see. Which way should I go? There we go. I think it's party, right? What do you guys think? It's going to smell awfully good, that's for sure. Don't matter what it looks like, it's going to clean it, it's going to smell good. All right, let me pause you guys so I can run upstairs and grab my bars of soap. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here's what I'm talking about when I'm saying that my soap is acting funny. Here's a recent bar that I just did. I mean, I could push on it and it's hard, but it's a couple days old, too, so it's still going to... I know the soda ash is horrible on top, but look at the... You see the whiteness in it? It's not lie heavy because I did do a pH strip on them. But see, it's it's all throughout the bar. And I'm pretty sure some of it, especially the top, is soda ash. See how white it is? But is it soda ash throughout the whole bar? Because here is my oatmeal, milk, and honey I just did the other day too. Same recipe. Except for I added oatmeal, honey, milk, uh, you know, all kinds of goodies to this bar. It's a pretty hard bar. It's still a little soft. Well, that just made a few dents, dummy. But then, that is what I'm talking about. These bars right here are just, I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't understand the whiteness to them. Here's two more examples. These ones are ready to wrap. This is my sweet pea. I did this online with you guys. You see the, it's like, I don't, I don't want to call those river, uh, glycerin rivers. Because I don't believe I used any TD in this. I could go back through the video and look. Um, but I'm pretty sure those are not glycerin rivers. You can see it on the other side too. I don't know if it's too much water or what. But my recipes are always the same. Yes, we have a little bit of soda ash right here, but not too much. But see, that is a hard bar of soap. And it didn't do it to this one. This is just a light pink and a dark or a light pink and a dark pink, I think it was. But I use the same recipe for all my soaps, and I just don't get it. I don't know if it's my water discounting that I'm, that's doing it or what, but it's, it's really got me stumped because this is a bar I just did. 
um, not too long ago. Not even sure if I have the video on this one or not. But I know I have the one on my sweet pea. This one's been done for a while. Matter of fact, I think it's done curing. But it is still kind of soft, and, and the feeling to it is just like, I don't know, it's like a chalky feeling somewhat. So, I don't know. So, if anybody has any answers or what guesses, even, to let me know, because this is just crazy. Like, I don't understand it. Oh, yeah, let me go get the ones that I did the other day. Hold on. Here. Here's another example of how, like, I don't know. See, there's that water stuff again. I don't know if it's water glycerin or what it is. But that's just weird. And it's extremely um, flaky or chalky to the touch. But when I use one, it's extremely um, soft and, and it feels so good on my skin. So, And I know it's not lie heavy. So I know the white spots can be lie heavy, but it's not lie heavy because I did the pH strips. Would you stop? You just scared the holy crap out of me, dude. You have no reason to be crying like that. Here's my leftover oatmeal milk and honey. I did a star because I had way too much, of course. <laughs> so this will be mine um, but yeah if you guys have any answers on that please let me know because it's really got me stumped I'm thinking it might be my water discounting I don't know but everybody discounts and I've never seen anybody else complain about that problem so I just need help on it you guys help me out if you know anything about that little light colored stuff that's in my soap <laughs> Again, like I said, I know it's not the um, light heavy because I pH strip them. So, but here's our creation from today. Our fresh strawberries. And I think it's very pretty. And I cannot wait to see the cut now. So, if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Um, if not, then I guess just pass on. Uh, but stay tuned for the cut because it will be coming soon after this. You guys have a blessed day. Thanks for joining me. Good morning you guys or should I say afternoon it is like 11 o'clock here a.m. so early afternoon I guess you could say <laughs> um, I'm back to cut the um, strawberry that I made for my son and I am a very disappointed this smells nothing like strawberry anymore it just smells like soap so I'm hoping that the smell comes back a little bit my edges are crumbling off because I laid it flat when I took it out of the mold but here she is my strawberry nevertheless it's still gonna be a bucket of bar of soap always um, but before I start cutting I wanted to show you guys my little haul I also did oh I finally was able to get myself some shea butter love the shea butter I've been out for a while now and um, I get mine off of uh, Amazon uh, that was only 10 bucks I think for ten, two pounds so yep and then I got a couple little tiny molds this one is spider-man I'm gonna get some more mountain pour and make some embeds I don't know might be too big I don't know maybe we can put them inside the soaps I'm not sure how I'm going to do that because then the eyes might get cut off of some of them. So, I don't know. I'll have to play around with it. And then I finally, everybody's been doing the mermaid tails. So, I finally got myself one. This is the small one. Um, yeah. Should be able to fit it on there. But, again, i got to get myself some more melt and pour these, these, both of these were off of Amazon. This was only a dollar plus a dollar shipping, and it came in no time. Yes, it came from China, but it came in no time. And they're very flexible, like molds. They're very thick, not thin. Um, this one, I think, was also a dollar or two plus a dollar shipping, maybe. So, yeah. Good deal. 
Then I finally also got myself some hollow glitter. And if you guys, I don't know, you guys don't really know me when I was doing my nails, but I am a hollow, 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 hollow lover. <laughs> um, Christine from Simply Nail Logic, um, she sold a couple shirts and I, I bought one of her hollow, it's me, t-shirts. Um, I really miss doing my nails and now that I have a job that I can possibly keep my nails done, I might start doing those again as well. Um... I don't know though, it might take away from my soaping. <laughs> but, yep, there we go. And it is Body Safe Holographic Glitter. Oh my god. She called it Sparkle, but I call this holographic. I love it. Cannot wait to use it. And, last but not least, I finally got myself some neons. This is the neon orange burst. So pretty. Looks a little peachy in the camera, but it's orange, trust me. And pretty and pink, hot pink. No, neon pretty and pink powder. Okay. So, yep, cannot wait to use these, you guys. I will be making another soap tonight. Might be here in a little bit. I gotta go to lunch with my son's um, girlfriend's mom. So, the one he's got pregnant. We're gonna go to lunch. I'm gonna go to Frisch's. I love Frisch's chicken. They got some really good grilled chicken. So that was my little mini haul. Ooh. Ah, see, it don't smell nothing like strawberries, you guys. I'm so disappointed right now. Really. Like, I really hope that comes back. I don't know, there were some pretty swirls though, aren't they? Turned out pretty good. Get this little chunk off of here. So it's not making a drag mark. Yeah, I, I cannot wait to use that glow in the dark or that glow in the dark, that glitter. Ugh. I cannot wait to add some shea butter to my stuff. I haven't had shea butter in forever. So Told my husband I want to drag out all my nail polish. God, I have so much nail stuff, it's not even funny. I mean, I have a couple videos on here on YouTube if you guys would like. They're like my first couple ones, so you wouldn't have to go down too far. Sorry, my cat was throwing up, and I did not want you guys to hear that. That was sick. You all right, Charlie? Here he goes again. Hold on. Ugh, good grief. Good thing it was on the kitchen floor and not the carpet. Ugh. Freaking animals. You alright, Charlie? Smarties! What are you doing, buddy? Makes me feel so bad. My uh, Siamese, he's always throwing up, but that's because he's had stomach issues since he was a baby. I took him to the vet years ago. He's like 10 years old now. He's the one that I raised from a bottle. So, he didn't get very much of mama's milk before he got snatched away from her. My brother, he works down in the yard and he said, oh, she left him. Da, 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 da. So I tried taking her and his sister back down to the yard and putting them in a box with blankets and stuff. And I shouldn't have done it, but I put like a can of cat food right by the kittens and you know, it's a junkyard. So it's actually a tra garbage yard. Honestly, it's, it's where they clean out houses, so most of it's garbage. So there could have been any kind of predators in there to grab them babies up. That was really kind of stupid of me. Um, but I went back the next day and they were still there, no mama in sight. So I took both of them home and raised them from a bottle myself. Uh, his sister did not make it, but my Siamese did. He is my baby. I think I've showed him in a couple of my videos. But he has stomach issues. I don't think it's because he was not raised on mama's milk. So, so he's always puking. I'm used to him, but my little Charlie bar, my little Charlie, he hardly ever gets sick. He must have just had a yucky old hairball. He's so, he's a sweet one. He's weird, but he's sweet. He, uh, he knows when you're crying or upset, he will come running. 
and he will rub on you and talk to you and I just love cats. I love all animals, but I love cats. If I could, I'd save them all. I carry a can or a can, a bag of cat food and dog food in my car, so not so much dog food because you don't see too many stray dogs, but you see tons of stray kitty cats and it makes me sad. They're hungry. What? Speaking of cats, that was my OJ. Where's he at? Where you at, dude? I hear him howling. OJ. Yes, all my cats were rescues. They was found. Um, OJ. He was um, a kitten to one of my strays that I was feeding. And she somehow... She had... Um, oh, I know at least three good litters that I know of. There him is. There him is. Him is still talking. Yes, him is still talking to him. Him is right there. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. It is not funny. I don't have nothing for you, buddy. But his mama was a stray that I fed, and she somehow killed every single one of her kittens. Except for, I don't think she did it on purpose. She put them in odd areas. She would always move them. And she, and they just did not survive all except for him so we took him from her after he was able to be taken away from her I did not want to feed another kitten by bottle that was just like getting up at 6 a.m. every two hours feeding a baby <laughs> but yes him is Watton he's my juvenile he's my youngest so and then his mama we took down to the yard because she was kind of feral she didn't let us really pet her or touch her or nothing. She just wanted our food. Ain't that white? Meow. Yeah. Meow. You're clawing at my counter and I'm going to get you. You're ridiculous. Mommy loves you. And mommy pets you. I don't have no boots. I have soap. You want soap? Let me let him smoke the soap. Here. See what mommy's got? Yeah, I didn't think so. But yeah, his mom was kind of unique though. She had like, oh, how do you pronounce that? Cut, cut lip, cup lip, where they got like a little messed up lip. Humans, most of the time it's on humans. You've never, never seen it on a cat, but she had one. So, but we dropped her off down at the yard because we feed cats down there too. It's where my husband and now all, both my boys work. Um, matter of fact, that's where my Siamese cat, cat's mom was living this was 10 years ago so she's she's long passed away by now um, and then my Charlie he's my middle one mister my Siamese is the oldest I said I wouldn't get no more after him and of course I did so and then I, my husband was cleaning out an old nursing home and uh, they heard a cat a kitten meowing let's see mister's 10 eight charlie's eight and oj is six so they're all two years apart um but charlie they said they heard something meowing and they went looking around the building and boom there he was all by himself he's my weird one he's like a bat cat he lays with his legs he's like double jointed for a cat too my cats are all special <laughs> they're all special they're weird but i love them but charlie he'll if he hears you crying he's on it He's rubbing and talking and don't cry, don't be upset. He's so silly. Animals are just so special. I love them to death. That's a really pretty swirl. It's like it goes like this. It starts down here. It goes right there. Okay, guys. That's my uh, strawberry. Don't smell too much like strawberry anymore. My son's going to be disappointed. Now we'll have to order a different... I put in the use in there in the amount that, that the soap cow asked for, too. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Hold on, I'll get you guys down so we can get a better look and some better pictures for my channel. I need to get on there and start doing some thumbnails. It's, it's a lot better when you do thumbnails. You got a lot more audience when they see a pretty picture up there. Instead of your arm pouring some soap with some blue gloves on. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got thumbnails on some of mine, but not all of them. You gotta do it from the computer, and I hate getting on my laptop. It's like, why can't we do that from our freaking phone? You can do anything else from your phone. Pay bills. Of course you could do that, right? 
OJ, where'd you go, buddy? Where'd my buddy go? He just left. He was sitting here. No butterfly swirl, but that's all right. Let's see, should I do it like this, guys? Or like this? That was an awfully thick piece. That was the end piece, too. How did that get to be so thick? Hmm. All right, well. It's all right, I'll be beveling it and trimming it when the time comes anyway, so. Um, I think yesterday I was talking about how some of my soaps were coming out with not really a soda ash, but like a light color on them. Um, white specks inside, and most likely, most of the time, you would consider that to be um, heavy lye. But I'm telling you now, I've never had any problems with any of my soaps having heavy lye, so I know that's not it because, number one, I add a little bit too much oils when I do pour. Number two, I pH stripped them, so, and they was all fine. Um, so I don't know what the deal is, but as you can see this time, it did not do it. So, I mean, I got little speckles from the colorant, which is a little disappointing, but that's all right. But... Yeah, I don't understand why it was doing that, what the deal is with those, I don't know. So, um, maybe I'll just keep following. I'm so stupid, I always hit the wrong button when I'm taking a picture. Uh, again, maybe I'll follow this recipe for all my soaping, um, you know, I didn't put any salt in it this time, and it came out of the mold just fine. Most of the time I add my salt in place of my sodium lactate. Um, I'm not saying that's what did it. Because I've used salt before and it's never done that before. But I'm going to eliminate that. I'm going to eliminate water discounting by too much. Um, I might not even use any more milks in mine. So, I don't know. He's wanting out. That's what he's wanting. What do you want, dude? Um, but yeah, again, as you can see, and I didn't even get that much soda ash on this. And I only discounted it by an ounce. So, no soda ash. Just the little speckles on it from, let me see here. Yeah, you can see the speckles on this one real bad. And that's from the cutter. So you rub your finger over it lightly and they go away. But, yep. Alright guys, that's my strawberry. I need to get off here so I can get ready to go get lunch. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you don't, then sorry. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. You guys stay blessed and thanks for joining me. Bye bye now.